What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are checking out Battle Planet Judgment Day. That's how you name a game right there. Can we just talk about naming your game? I feel like when you name your game it should give a really good idea of what your game is about. And Battle Planet Judgment Day. That's a name that pops right there. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a name that has Zazz. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and start this thing on off. This game is a roguelite where you're going to be on top of a planet, kind of twin sticking around, shooting lots of bullets, murdering lots of creatures, and hopefully getting out alive. Let's begin, shall we? Like there was an awful lot of ship coming off of our ship. That was a lot of debris. That can't be a good thing. Ah, there you go. So see, it wasn't a good thing. So now I'm on the planet. There's a rifle over here. All right, let's go get the rifle. Not gonna uh, ask why this gun is just lying here. That's probably the best idea. It's probably like a leftover Xeno gun. Oh, there's worms and creatures and things. Yeah, murder them. I will also pick up that med kit. Do I have to re? I guess I don't have to like reload or anything. That's good. So I can jetpack on over here. Oh, nice, dude. We can jump over a wall with a jump bat. Oh my god, it's the space police. It's the space fuzz. Unload on them. Why are we killing the police right now? I'm just, I'm. Are we an outlaw? I get the feeling we're probably not on the best terms with the police. Apparently, the police have themselves a big old star. What is this thing right here? Oh, they're trying if this thing goes up. stuck in an alien planet and bossed around by a tin can. <sighs> Apparently they tried to blow up the planet with a dynamite. Gotcha. What is this thing right here? What does that do? E to fire special items? Oh, it's like a little grenade thing. Okay. Alright, just keep shooting. I like the sphere. Like I like how the game actually takes place on top of the sphere. It reminds me there's a game we played a while back that was like a survival crafting game on a sphere. That was very, very similar to, like, this presentation. I guess there's an escape pod already pre-installed on the planet, too, so that's pretty helpful. Off to the next location. Okay. So. We have to go five planets, and we have to defuse a bomb. Where's the bomb at? The bomb's over here? Alright, we can do that. Ow, I've been bit! I don't know why this weird space dog wants to hurt me. It just does. Yeah, just keep firing. Just, just, yeah, just keep shooting. Just do your thing, man. Do I have to kill everything on the planet? Do I have to kill, like, all the bad guys on the planet before I can defuse the bomb, or do I just have to get them out? Oh, never mind. You can see the ring that's going around the bomb right there. I probably should have noticed that. Let's stay inside the zone of influence, and hopefully we've got enough time to defuse this thing. Oh my god, there are so many bad guys around. The planet is 100% stable. Apparently, I am Captive 377. And I've got a super awesome, like, Samurai Kabuki mask thing going on. I wish I had one of those masks in real life. I think my coolness would actually be elevated multiplicatively if I had something like that. In fact, I blame the lack of a Samurai Kabuki mask for most of my failings in life. And we gotta find our way off the planet now? Oh, we don't actually have to go to a jump pod or anything. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, well there's one of the bombs right there. Let's go ahead and defuse this thing. A V Patrol guard. That's probably a bad thing, right? Alright, well I'm just gonna stay inside of here. The other bomb was up above us. Yeah, just keep shooting. I do want whatever those are. I don't know what they are, but I want them. They're shiny and they seem like they're good for me. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, we got 18 seconds left. Yeah, we should probably move a little bit more quickly and get that done. There we go. Perfect. Enemy down. Enemy down. All right. Did I stabilize the planet? Yeah, planet stabilized. Let me get... What do I spend the money on? Just a question right now. I've killed 124 or 121 life forms. Sorry, I'm bad at numbers. All right, I've never been good at math. That includes just simply reading the numbers. Three, 
The V Master Protector. All right. Well, there's that guy down. I'm going to eliminate his little buddies first. Hopefully, that kind of smooths this thing over. All right, there's one guy left. We got to figure out how we get rid of him. Oh, by shooting him in the back when he charges past you. Okay. Do I have like a timer or anything that's important for getting this done? Are there like items or like chests or anything on the planet that I should be exploring for in between all of this decadent murder? My rose with every there chance. we go. All right, well, another wave down. It took us 37 seconds on that one. Apparently, our bounty is increasing. Planet number four, defuse the bombs. Okay, we will defuse bombs, I promise. Uh, yeah, we should probably get this one right here. Oh my god, there's so many bad guys. I don't want to be bit by bugs. I would prefer it if space hounds would not bite my ankles. Oh, there's three bombs this time. That sucks. Okay, well, let's move our way across the planet and just accomplish what we can accomplish here. I don't think my bounty is yours, in all honesty. It looks like we save our progress. So long as I can, like, I can step outside the ring and we don't have to worry about it too much. There's another gun over here. Yeah, let's pick that up. We've only got a couple more shots with it, though, unfortunately. There you go. There you go. We got 22 seconds. That should be enough time. 18 was enough last time. As long as we don't step outside the zone, I think we should be good. Those guys have been eliminated. There's enough med kits to go around to where I'm not really that worried about keeping ourselves healthy. Like, there's a lot of med kits that drop. So even, like, taking hits is worth it, so long as we can conclude the level. So we're worth 1,871 space credits right now. Alright. Oh, the shotgun stayed. Nice. Kill the boss. Alright. She's a spy. I don't really want to kill you guys, but... I think I may have to. I'm going to bring this over here near to, like... Damn. Okay, well, we killed them off. I was going to say, this fight might be a little easier with a long-range weapon. Yep. Give her the old dock a dock. I'm not going to touch the shotgun for right now. I feel like I'm doing pretty well, in all fairness. Like, you might be in control of the situation, but I definitely feel like I'm winning. There you go. Get my bomb, too. I got a, I got a farty grenade for you. Mm-hmm. Enjoy that explosive, that immolation straight from my butt. My what you got for me? Ooh. Yeah. Let me get all those goodies right there. Let me get all them goodies. A new character has been unlocked, the spy. Oh, so you can play as different characters. Cool. I figured that from the opening cinematic where it showed three guys, but apparently they're sending other criminals after me to capture me. Man, she was worth a ton. Welcome to the perk selection, prisoner. You may select one of three randomly available perks to help you fend off infinite threats stacked against you. These perks reset whenever you die, which will probably be often. So, the number of slots you can activate is limited. It adds to the fun, I promise. Okay, so we've got a heart implant that gives us more health. We've got gun steroids that'll give us more good old, good old HGH. Human gun hormone, and then we've got trigger happy, additional ammunition for picked up weapons. Let's go increase the damage of our default weapon. How about that? Because I've got like a feeling that we're not always going to have access to special weapons. So maybe make like the little default tech nine that we're running around with causing all kinds of space mayhem. Maybe we'll hold on to that and make that hit a little harder. Oh, you have a shop? Okay, uh, it says the A button. Unfortunately, I am not on a controller right now, so I have bad news. And good news, apparently. It's the Enter key. So there you go. We found it. But the bad news is that this is kind of a pet peeve of mine, doing impressions on games. This is a, a little pet peeve of mine. I do think that any game that's releasing to the PC platform should absolutely have tooltips 
that are related to the player in terms of PC keys. I don't think there's any reason right now that we should be getting like Xbox controller prompts. And so I do think that's something that should probably be patched up for the presentation of game, uh, PC gamers, essentially. Uh, hey, my favorite outlaw, you made it to the chip transplant shop. It's completely legal. You ever heard of biotech upgrades? I guarantee you won't regret them much. Spend your precious blue chips on powerful upgrades for your character and your weaponry. Weapon and item upgrades are shared between all characters. These upgrades do not reset when you die. Don't ask why. Okay, I won't. I won't. Uh, we can get more health. That's pretty much all we can do right now. Okay, so over here, it looks like they've made an attempt to get some of the PC controls put in. Because right here, it's actually giving us PC controls in the menu. So, like, you know, it has it. It's just maybe not fully rolled out yet. I don't know. Uh, so we can upgrade our explosion to recharge faster. I'll probably do that. Uh, we can also get the Raider gun, which will deal more damage. I think that's what we have right now, right? And so I'll probably add some more health since we don't have the money for a Raider gun anyways. I was hoping that what would happen is because he said you won't regret the chips, right? I was hoping that when you did certain upgrades, like there was some kind of setback that your character would have for using the upgrades. But I guess not. It's fine. It's not a big deal. What are these over here? Target dummies? Okay, those are target dummies. Gotcha. And we don't lose ammo while we're on top of the traitor planet. Gotcha. Okay. I do like the presentation. Like, just jumping in between missions and, like, the dives and the landfalls in between planets, they look very, very good and action-packed, and they happen at a speed that doesn't break up the flow of gameplay, which I think is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm already dealing with aliens, but we've got two bombs that are right next to each other. So no biggie, no harm, no foul right there. Let's knock those dudes out. I've been shot several times. It's unfortunate, but it happens to the best of it. Oh, wow, that upgraded the damage a ton on my gun. Okay, my gun's hitting way harder. Those guys were taking, like, an entire mag dump to kill previously. All right, last bomb is over here. Let's get after it. I do wish that the chips, like, sucked into your character because, like, going and getting them in between defusing bombs can be a little bit tentative, but maybe that's part of the balance is that they expect you to go out and gather some of the chips and grab what you can where you can. Dude, I'm getting shot to pieces right now. We got rid of all the bombs, though, so that's a plus. At least we were successful. Our bounty just keeps growing. We're at 3,500 space bucks right now. Space ducats. It would be cool if the planet was actually destructible, too. Like, as you're shooting, like, you could daisy cut the bushes down with your bullets and whatnot. Like, I feel like that'd be kind of... Oh, survive for 60 seconds. Okay. So that's a little less complicated. That's just, like, stay the hell out of the way. I can feel it. I can feel it. Nope. I'm feeling bullets in my face right now is what I'm feeling. I don't think my explosion works very well on those dudes. Eh, we appear to be getting chewed on pretty well. I'm just going to run for it. Oh, they're going to make me stay for this med kit over here. Med kit didn't help. Med kit was not helpful. You're under attack. I'm under attack. You don't have to be here right now. You could just leave me alone and let me get away with my space crimes. This is completely unnecessary on your part. Just let me get away with space crime and we won't have to discuss this any further. Uh, do I need... Yeah, can I get that med kit over there? Because I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit Swiss cheesed right now. My helmet ain't the only thing that's got holes in it. Now let's grab this over here. Normally, I only have like two or three holes, maybe four, if you really count carefully, you know, the number of holes in me is getting a little out of control. It's definitely got kind of a Robotech vibe to it that I'm digging, though, where it's like, you know, it endlessly gets more difficult, and I sort of enjoy that factor. I'm the kind of person that likes to test myself against games like this and see how far I can push without dying. Where's the other bomb at? Oh, dude, that thing is so far away. I may not get... Th oh, never mind. We got 36 seconds. We might be okay. There's another bomb over there. I think I went the long way around, and I think it might cost me. I think there's a pretty solid chance that it's going to cost me. All right, so we got a bomb over here. I think it takes 10 seconds to get the bomb done, so... There you go. There you go. There you go. 
Yep, blow him up with the bomb right there. Uh, I'm gonna go grab all that stuff because I get the feeling I'm gonna need some chips if we really want to get this dip going. It's a chip and dip. Aw, oh, we didn't make $5,000. I was hoping that 5,000 space bucks would be the price for capturing me. We gotta get up to a solid even number so that when law enforcement comes along, the V-Battle Colonel. He looks like a punk. We got this guy. Wait, is there two of them? I think there are two colonels that they have sent after me right now. And I don't think that they brought 11 herbs and spices. Unless those herbs and spices are like 9 millimeters and 45s. Then they definitely brought it. There we go. Let's, let's vanquish them real quick. I would like to grab. Oh, I can't get the heal. I can't get the healing item. I was trying to. So I was trying to get that med kit, but it was hopping me over it whenever I would step on the jump pad. Kind of an unfortunate placement for that power up. Uh, we can get some more upgrades. Faster movement might be cool. What other stuff do we have available? Shotgun, e shocker, rocket launcher, a shield. Oh, really? I don't think we've picked up a shield yet. I'm just gonna hold on to my stuff. Uh, let's try out the other character that we unlocked. We unlocked the spy. Let's see what she's got going on. So she's got a blinking jetpack, and then she's got dual pistols. Let's lock and load it on up. Let's go. We can skip this. I think we've, we've seen that portion. I just want to get straight to the gameplay of guns blazing. I do think there is a place in gaming for games like this. I know a lot of people want like a ton of depth inside of their games, but frankly, the old ideas like Smash TV and Robotech, or... Yeah, Smash TV and Robotron still stand up under scrutiny, in my opinion. Sorry, I was focusing on the game, and like I zoned out. All right, so that bomb is done. Why do we have shield guys already? We have shield guys that we got to deal with already. Are we picking up from where we left off? Or are we back on planet one? I don't know. I'm going to get you with the default weapon right there. Default you down. Perfect. Oh, there's another bomb. Okay. Where's it at? It's over here. I'm gonna kill that guy off real fast. I just gotta get on the point here. Gotta play the objective. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think you pick up from maybe where you left off. I don't know. I'll need to see the gameplay grid. I like how she's got like a cybernetic handsome Jack thing going on with her face. Do I need this? I'm going to pick it up just in case I do need it. Enemies. Oh, we got to kill 25 enemies. Okay. There's also other little things. So, for example, the bad guys were like, don't let him escape. Our character is a lady right now. So, like, little things like that. Like, re-recording just in case so the game can identify whether or not you're playing a male or a female survivor, you know. Don't let her get away versus don't let him get away. It's a, it's a, it's a minor observation, though. That's... Not quite. That's not quite as serious as the whole, like, key binding thing. Come on, finish him off. Oh, I'm back on pistols right now. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and detonate a bomb right there so that I can get to that med kit. Looks like we have another med kit over on the other side, too. I'm going to leave him up because, like, I wanted to check out and see. Oh, I can blink. Nice. I, I feel like I was aware of the fact that I could blink, but I'm just not good at paying attention. Perfect. I wonder how the combo factors into your overall score. Ooh, 999999. That's pretty sweet that we landed on that right there. That makes it seem like there's like, you know, a discount for catching us. It does start you from the beginning now that I've seen the grid. All right. Oh, that is a bomb. It looks like the shotgun's actually got some range to it. Okay, I can dig it. I like the shotgun now that I know it'll fire halfway across the planet. That's pretty sweet. I don't really have time to grab all the stuff that I want to grab over here. Wish that I had more. She's a bit more fragile than our other survivor for sure. Uh, she takes a bit more damage. All right, fight our way through. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this med kit over here just while we're in the neighborhood. I would like to get over to this bomb as well. Just kind of get it cooking real fast. 
Yeah, detonate another explosive. Oh, there's another one hiding behind the bomb. Weak, dude. This is going very, very poorly for me. And another grip of bounty. We've doubled our bounty with that little cascade of murder. What else we got going on? Kill this boss. Okay, I will do it, but only because you asked me nicely. Oh, it's somewhat randomized. Okay, so we got the Vaporoid. Let's go ahead and see if we can break the line of sight here. Oh, you got little homies. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the little drones, maybe. There we go. Oh, I just got shredded. Okay. I got to get rid of this. I don't feel like the shotgun is doing a great job at killing this dude. Oh, my God. There's a few too many bullets going on right now. I'm going to go around the back side of the planet. And hopefully, there we go, perfect. Okay, that's what I was hoping I could do, is go all the way around the planet to pick up the med kit instead of trying to go through the enemy. I'm gonna teleport over to here too. That wasn't, those jump pads get me in trouble. I don't feel like my bomb worked right there. Like maybe it hurt him like a little bit with the stingies, but not quite. He's definitely a hitter. Did that man just up and leave? He was just like, nah, not today. I think he did. I think he just like left. He was like, yeah, you know, I could die for this, but I feel like I'm, ooh, our bounty went up like incredibly. So we've got an increased health pool. Weapons deal more damage at lower health. Gun steroids. I'm going with gun steroids again. Actually, she's got low health. We're doing okay on damage, but her health is really lackluster compared to what we've had going on with the previous character. So she hits harder. But she's got less health. So, like, I'm actually thinking that maybe health upgrades are the best way to round her out and make her a little bit more useful. Let's go back over, and it's the pwn ship. Gotcha. The one you want is never the one on sale. <laughs> so we can upgrade the spy guns to deal more damage. Oh, really? The upgrades are individual to the character. So she just hits that hard. Okay. Good to know. Might as well upgrade the Gats. Maybe be a little bit faster. Do we have anything else we can do? Yeah, let's be a little bit faster, I guess. There we go. So that time around, we actually got some serious upgrades. We should be hitting like a truck from this point forward because she already hits pretty hard. And then we just upgraded her attack even further. So I feel like this build might be working for us. Okay. Oh, there's a lava pit on this planet. I wonder if I can fall into the lava pit. I do like the diversification of the planets. That's pretty sweet. Let's get started with some of these little buggies over here. Yep, get started with the buggies. There we go. Got to defuse this bomb. Like, they're trying to, like, can you imagine? We are such a hardcore criminal that they're exterminating planets right now just to capture us. It's kind of wild, right? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, just keep, just keep detonating. Woo, there are a lot of enemies out here. Oh, okay, so I see actually what the combo meter does now. The more kills you get in rapid succession, it gives you a score multiplier. I don't know if we're going to finish this in time. We're not. I fell into the lava. Oh, the bomb doesn't instantly blow up the planet. Okay, so you just take damage. Gotcha. Pretty intense little game, in all honesty. Pretty intense little title if you're into arena shooter roguelites. I think you guys might enjoy it. This game is called Battle Planet Judgment Day. If you wanted to check it out for yourself, as always, I've got a link for you down below. A Corex splitter, huh? Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do here, but no guarantees. I've got a link for you down below if you want to get the game. All right, you can purchase it down there on Steam if you wanted to buy it after watching this video. Aside from that, if you don't know who I am and what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile. 
to find what is worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. I will chow down on that sandwich so you can find out if it's delicious or not. Leave a like on this video if you wanted to see a little bit more, if you enjoyed the gameplay, or if you just want to support the channel in general. I do stay alive off that kind of interaction, so I would appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.